Hey everyone, well, one little update on the tractor here. I've uh, been working on some of the electrical and uh, I've gotten a couple more things figured out here. Uh, a couple guys on the, the my tractor forum, uh, some of y'all might be a part of that. Uh, I'm, I got a thread on there about this build and uh, some of them wanted to know how I was going to mount this engine onto the, uh, the 16 horsepower onto my uh, Suburban 12 here. And uh, anyways, uh, all that I had to do for this was uh, drill some holes in the frame, drill a couple holes, and uh, bolt it right down because it already matched up. But the clutch assembly was what was bothering me. I couldn't figure, figure out some way to do it. So what I did here is, uh, hold on a second, sorry about that, things are still a bit of a mess here, but uh, what I did was, Here's your drive pulley, right here, belt, and then your clutch with your idler down here. And here, this is the engine block, and this is where the battery plate would have been. And I had to get this plate made to bolt to the engine, and then I drilled two other holes down below where the clutch plate bolts to it. And so that was the only thing I could come up with. And I'm getting different bolts. These, uh, I, well, they're just makeshift for now. So, anyways, uh, the starter generator. Uh, this is not the original one to the tractor. This is another one I had. The same thing. But actually, this one I think is a little, little more compact. But, uh, anyways, um, the only battery I have to use with this is a small car battery right there. And uh, so it's pretty pretty big at the, in this small space so I can't use the original uh, battery tray that came on the tractor so I've just for the time being rigged up these uh, threaded rod which it's going to be placed on and also it uh, helped me to align my starter generator and this is where it's going to be uh, I still have nuts to put on and stuff yet I might get a th I'm going to see if I can get a thicker piece of threaded rod because this one is a little weak to me I find and uh, it lines up perfect and everything, so I'll bolt uh, the support, the other support for the starter generator, I'll bolt it here on this bolt. And uh, the only thing I have left to do besides this um, is just ground out the starter generator so it's going to work properly. And get my gas tank and gas lines rigged up. And um, a lot of guys, a few of them were telling, told me about... Uh, the oil drainage for the engine see right there this engine uh, has two though it's got one there and it's got one here as well which is if you notice right on the bottom of the edge of the frame now the hood for this tractor would have originally mounted here like a little further back in so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, fabricate up a plate that's gonna go just stick out the front a little bit and uh, I'll f just drill two holes and bolt the hood to that. And uh, it still clears the engine and everything fine. It'll clear the battery terminals fine. So that'll be all right. I've still got to paint the starter generator and a couple pieces there, uh, along with some parts of the engine. Um, this part isn't painted yet kind of thing, uh, just because I had a, another gas tank on my previous tractor. This is where it was in the placement uh, when I was operating the tractor. And this exhaust is getting cut off. Like, this is one my friend welded up for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and uh, I'll bring it straight out. Uh, bring it out. I'll put a 90 here. Bring it out. Put another 90. Come about halfway. And I'm going to put a stack on it is what I plan to do. Because this, I don't like this setup. Well, this setup's good. Um, but I just like having a stack. <laughs> That's just me. Anyways, um, got the AG tires with the with the chains on them, and uh, I'll also be planning on uh, I'll put a picture at the end of the video if I can, uh, showing what I'm going to do with the front of the tractor. Uh, basically, thinking along the lines of a monster mower kind of deal, but it's just going to be a utility tractor and a mud and tractor for having fun stuff with, and. Uh, Basically for the front, I've got another set of tires exactly like this, and uh, I've got rims coming for them, and I've got uh, hubs 
uh, three bolt hole hubs that I'm going to put on the front spindles there on each front tire and I'm going to put a spacer uh, on each I'm going to extend the spindles a little bit on each tire and I'm going to put a spacer uh, between the three bolt hole hubs and uh, these other t the other tires are going to get mounted on the front and there's still plenty of clearance for when I'm turning and everything granted I can't turn as sharp but it'll be better steering uh, traction wise and it just looks really cool too so hey <sighs> anyways um, this is the hood roughly painted up it's better than it was anyway so I'm happy with it for the time being uh, got, got the roper three-point hitch on there I'm gonna rig this up for twitch and logs out and I got another seat to go on this hopefully I'm gonna put it higher up so but when, if I have the, when I get them front tires on, uh, I've got the tractor jacked up right now to the point where that's how high it'd be lifted off the ground. And I apologize for all the shaking from the camera. Uh, basically, uh, this is, I'm going to get quite a bit of clearance. Probably, I'd say that's a, yeah, with the tires not tilted here I mean anyways you get the idea so anyways uh, that's just my short little update for now so um, yeah for when I put this on the tractor form if any y'all have any other questions just uh, message me or put a comment on the thread <laughs> so anyways thanks guys rate subscribe and uh, tell me what you think See ya.